Hey, what's up? Welcome back. This is KS for our Perfect Tutorial channel, and now working clothes simulation on logo or title, maybe 3D animation. First, go to 3ds Max, press Z for setting your viewport, and go to Create Shapes Text. Okay, right here your uh, title. just after effect maybe sometime working with uh, 3ds max 2 and go to modifier and go to bevel press alt label 1 slowly extrude and turn on label 2 press alt slowly this one too and now press e for rotation turn on angle snap 90 degree press R for scale down press all slowly more 3d okay and now creating a cloth on just after effects go to geometry create geometry plan this is the plan and you can set the segment of plan like this Okay, right click, move up, little bit more skill. Select the JAE and right click here for creating a mass effects toolbar by right clicking here. Sorry, uh, Right click, mass effects toolbar, turn on, and this is mass effects. And select your logo and go to static rigid body, like this. And now go back to shape type original and select the plan, turn on the quote. Press S for save and simulate okay not bad select the JAE you can change the concave and there is generate it generated again simulate looking not bad select the cloth and right click convert to edit poly select all of them press w for move little bit up and now time to select the cloth and select the spray selection apply the mass effects cloth and select the vertex how to tear the cloth? I think tearing like this. Press Ctrl. Tearing like this and like this. Enough. And now go to Vertex. Make tear. Press OK. And go back to M cloth. Okay, now go back to create forces wind draw the wing here and press e for rotate press w move here and now go to modify the hair strength is uh, the wind strength is one select the cloth add scene forces add like this and now simulate again select the forces need more strength like this need more strength 
I think need more strength. Need more strength. More strength and more. Yeah, good. Stop the simulation, reset your simulation, set the air like this, the wind. And now, select the wind, change this to zero, turn on auto key, set 50, go to 30, set 150, and go to 60 frame set 500 simulate again okay not bad there is little bit problem this problem how to solve the problem you can solve this uh, like this turn on auto key sometime the wind coming here look Turn on. And now simulate again. This is the best way. Good. Okay, stop the simulation, reset, and go to setting. Go to setting, back up. Back your simulation. And wait. For the creating simulation of quote. Okay, the simulation is uh, finished and play test. Looking great. Go to material, apply a material, and then turn on the two sided. After this, time to export into After Effects. Select all of your 3D model and then go to scripting, run, script. Okay, then select your script, export to OBJ. Open, look. 85 frame as enough. Change the end frame is 85. Start from one frame, open, select desktop, create a new folder, and name it C. Float, save, and now export. Wait, okay. The export of OBJ is finished, and now time to going After Effects. Create a new composition, name it Cloth Tearing, and the time 5 seconds, press OK. After this, right click, create a new solid, name it Cloth, and then press OK. Go back to Effects, Video Copilot, Element, and then go to Scene Setup. After this, Go to File, Import, 3D Sequence. This is the new folder which uh, we exported from 3ds Max into new folder, OBJ Sequence. Press OK. OK. This is the model of 3D. And there is the frame offset. And now, Go to presets, physical, open, and 
these materials looking really beautiful and go to environment change environment basic 2k 14 press ok and ok and then create another new plan this plan is for shadow and reflection move it down and then right click on the plan mode reflect mode mirror surface drop the metal diffuse and then select the material go to end of settings turn on match shadow matte reflection and press ok and now right click create a new camera press ok and select the cloth go to group 1 particle look scale up the size and create a new solid color must be gray name it background press ok drop it down select the cloth 3d layer and go to render setting ambient occlusion turn on for this shadow change the quality sample to 56 and change the rate after this go to lighting select the lighting stylize or 360 or you can change from additional lighting rotation change from here great and go to motion blur turn on the motion blur change shutter angle and now go back to scene setup and select your obj sequence layer change the frame offset 1 press ok when you play Two seconds, twenty frame. Trim your comp and render. And this is the final result of three D animation code tearing. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget like and subscribe the channel, see you next time.